what's the deal, man? Support Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Let me know is my eyes jacked up because they look like like this eye, which look like it's up, and this eye looks down. But I think it's the eye that got not I got knocked out a few years ago. This eye has seen a lot of punching, so he's kind of weaker than this one. I don't know, man. It look like they teeter totter. Maybe because one eye is like bigger than the other because he's just naturally low because he's been punched so many times. Anyways, man, today's video is gonna be about human cloning, man. I have was gonna do like a detailed blog with it where um, we go through the document. So I was live a few nights ago and somebody brought up the idea of celebrity cloning, human cloning. And uh, I came across a document that I need to see if I can put a link in this video, a document that was came out in 2001. I didn't read the whole document. It's like 500 pages. It's like five, 600 pages long. It's on an official Congress site. It's a uh, official. This is not no made up stuff. And in the document, it had John D. Rockefeller in it. Now, with John D. Rockefeller, a part of anything, he's one of the guys who Dagner took over the world, man. John D. Rockefeller, the Rothschilds, I heard about the Collins. Um, there's so many different families out there, man. You know, you go to the 200 angels that run the planet, to the reptiles. We don't know. Every year, a new conspiracy comes out, man. It's either the seven, the seven, it's like, yeah, seven days in a week. So it's like seven days for each one. It's like the seven guardians or something like that. Then it's like 200 fallen angels. Then it's the reptiles. And then it's these families. And I don't know if those families are kids. I don't know. If any of y'all know in the comment section how this works, let me know. But I'm still learning about it. We all learn about it together. But there's a document on human cloning. So there's that documents that go out from human cloning way back to the 1930s. So they've been cloning humans for years. So it actually really is real technology. Now, rumor has it that there's a dude named Donald Marshall, white guy who did all the, he's the main guy that's typing Donald Marshall on YouTube. He should be the main guy that pops up. He's the main guy that talks about the human cloning, like far as, a, far as celebrity wise. Rumor had it that the reason why they killed Bernie Mac is because Bernie Mac seen the human cloning factories and he wanted to talk about it. Now, I will believe there's clones because there's there's a guy who played in Aquaman who looks just like Chris Pratt. There's like in, in Hollywood, it's like three select. There's like a bunch of celebrities that look just alike. They look, you don't know who you're looking at. Like there's a dude who looks just like Chris Pratt. There's a dude up there who looks just like Tom Cruise. Like he, he looks just like Tom Cruise. You don't know if it really is Tom Cruise or it's not. Uh, Patrick Swayze had one. Thomas Jane and Patrick Swayze look a lot alike. There's a lot of celebrities in Hollywood that look a lot like so is there is is there a human cloning facility in hollywood where they make a clone and center of them when they had mike tyson had a a um body double that got arrested for one time it looked just like mike tyson i'm talking about it looked just like him you know what i'm saying so is there a copy of you somewhere you know what i'm saying when you come out so they had a movie called us where in the movie us there was a carbon copy of everybody everybody exactly of them you know uh, up under up under up under ground now that movie us there was a lot of breakdown if y'all haven't seen the movie us it's by jordan peele i don't know why he's trying to make him this hollywood director like he made get out us was trash get out was trash it was like some really trash movies man if you really go back and look at it it's very detailed hidden hidden stuff now the main thing i took away from us not the fact that they had human clones but the main thing i took from that movie was the underground cities there's a whole underground city that's real. Right up on you right now is an entire city of, of stuff we don't know about. The movie with Godzilla showed Hollow Earth, and they talk about they they talk about Hollow Earth as if it's in that movie, the Godzilla series, the Monster Verse, is like the only movie I know where they talk about Hollow Earth. You know, they did it in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie where they went on the water so far, where where they went so far in the water, everything swapped upside down. So you, I, I forgot how they did it in the Pirates of the Caribbean, but they talk about it where. It's, all, it's pretty much a, and I don't know how it will work where there's an entire world up under us. So what if a, a right above our sun is like a bunch of hard rock, and if we can get through that, there'd be another world up, up above us. Who knows that? That's that's some that's some top level conspiracy theory reaching right there. Top level reaching. I'm talking about Dawson reach across the room, Jordan Space Jam dunk reaching. 
Uh, but you can look into Hollow Earth. I'll say looking into that as well if you're looking into that, man. But there's underground cities, but I do know that for a, for a fact. They talk about it in the Re Resident Evil game, the Raccoon City. There was the hive up under there, billionaires living up underground and all that. The reptiles can't live in the sun, so they live up underground. So that's, that's what I took for the movie Us. But far as the cloning aspect of it, the fact that there's an official government document talk about cloning. And there's a lot of government documents that talk about a lot of conspiracy stuff we talk about on the channel. Like uh, if you've never heard of MK Ultra, MK Ultra is when you use mind control to control somebody. That was made by the CIA. The CIA infiltrated Hollywood. And that's why Hollywood has so many different like innuendos about conspiracies stuff like hollow earth cloning the underground cities cia is part of it the cia actually was part of the drug trade the cia is really is one of the worst ones there's a lot of official documents y'all can read about it man read about a lot of those documents man uh they created a few of the uh serial life takers if you think about those so think about think about it in in the in since 2024 came and I thought about this recently. Where are all the big time serial life takers? Where are the cult leaders? Where are, was everybody at? Like in the early 90s, every week there was somebody famous for doing horrendous crimes. Every week there was these crazy speakers. Like you had the Malachi's of York's, the David Koresh's, the Jim Joneses. Where are these guys at the day? They're here. But I feel like they're more controlled. They're still cults. Don't get it twisted. But the reason why we never hear about them, because the powers that be, like people like a John D. Rockefeller, will buy all the local news outlets. So pretty much what happened was, say in my town, I become a cult leader. I get y'all, y'all believe in Dwayneism, and everybody wants to change their name to Dwayne. I got a Dwayne cult, right? The small town, will, small town people would pick that up, and then it would become a big news, right? If the big news station buys that small town news company, they're going to choose what they can talk about. So they're not going to make a, a, a story about a guy in town converting everybody to Dwayneism. They're not going to make a story. They're going to make a story about what they want to talk about and they will silence me. So they can si They pretty much control every aspect of society. So where we can and can't know about information, the information we're getting is, is, is purposely, given, purposely given to us now because they control everything, you know? And another thing had me thinking about the cloning thing was it's hard to uh, believe that everybody's wearing masks, all right? I've seen some of the masks that people are wearing, and I, would, I wouldn't I would be shocked if Hollywood or the entertainment industry or the powers that be had better masks. If you look at Donald Trump and Joe Biden, those are not the original carbon copies. That's not the original Joe, all right? Joe Biden got really old extremely fast in the past five years. In the past five years, He's went from being able to articulate himself very well to just being a fly on the wall now. He's really he's really bad right now, really bad off. And Joe Biden is really you can't tell me that's not a mask. And they they even getting funny with it where they had to, he had a different neck color on TV. You know, you can look that up. Just type in Joe Biden's neck color interview. Just type that in. That should pull up the interview where his neck was different. Clear as day like a mask. So it looks as if we do have people who's to say. Beyonce isn't wearing a mask, you know what I'm saying? Or these people are not wearing a bunch of masks every day to, to, to control the powers that be, you know what I'm saying? I won't even put it past it, but I know I get asked a lot, Dwayne, are celebrities wearing masks or are they cloned? Or is that another carbon copy? It could be both, man. It could be both. I would say there's more likely, this is just my conspiracy of the celebrity cloning ring. I feel like there's a bunch of high paid actors and stunt doubles who get these characters and these characters they act in their deep undercover and they act these characters out for an entire lifetime to be killed off example young Dolph. been that he's been a character for years you get a guy like me so see i'm 33 i could go out and pass for a 25 26 year old any day of the week you wouldn't know and if i can probably lose some weight and if i wanted to i probably could look younger lose probably 10 15 pounds get my face a little slimmer get a facial you know what i'm saying probably tighten up if i can get if i can get this skin right here pulled back oh yeah most definitely at, take some years off or shave some years off most definitely if i can get like these parties little skins pulled and they, they got that stuff they can inject stuff here here and 
So what I'm saying is you can put me in a town somewhere. I'm already a grown ass man. Drop me in a town. He's 21 years old. I'm hanging with all the 21 years old. I have years of experience of training, years of experience of acting, years of experience of rapping. I know how to manipulate everything and influence everything. So now you don't even know how old I am. I just got dropped in here. I got this fake past. And I live out this character to it's time for that character to die. I was I had to throw the age thing in there because who's to say Pop Smoke wasn't a 35 year old man or Takai 69 isn't a 35 year old man. Tupac and Biggie looked old. When I was kids, I, when I was a kid, it took me for a long time to look at Pac or Big and say, y'all were 25 years old when y'all died. Y'all look mad old. Now, granted, in the 90s, guys did look old as I don't know what in the 90s. Got it. But what I'm getting at is I do feel like these guys are highly paid actors, dropping in cities, and they act these roles out a long time ago, for a long time. They probably been taking care of their health so they don't look as old so they can have the training. You're going to need the training. You just can't drop these guys out. I don't. I feel like then they probably was raised into it. I feel like a lot of these guys were raised into it from the time they were like five, six years old, getting brainwashed from the time they were two, what their, their life mission is going to be and grow up. And it's multiple actors playing one person. Like, I, I guarantee you, there's 10 to 15 people playing Kodak Black. I can guarantee that. Kodak Black is getting played by. You know how many ugly, crusty, dark-skinned guys are in every hood that looks like a Kodak Black? I got three guys in my hood right now I could grab, and they could be Kodak Black tomorrow. They look just like them. The Kodak Black face is normal everywhere. And I supposed to have done an independent blog on Kodak Black because funny story about him is, he was trying out for Nickelodeon shows. Trying out for Nickelodeon shows, you're supposed to be from the hood. We don't do that where we're from. Guys from the hood, we don't get no. There is no trainer coming to your house to teach you how to play basketball. There is no, you're not about to get piano lessons. In the hood, it's rare you hear anybody doing stuff like going to a Nickelodeon show and auditioning. Our moms aren't even thinking like that. Either our moms are working five, ten jobs, our daddy's nowhere to be found. So we're, you're not about to see us working all these jobs and shit like that you know what i'm saying or doing this crazy stuff where you're seeing us going to go audition for movie roles it's not about to happen you know what i'm saying so that's why i do feel like these guys are actors for a long time offset playing in whitney houston's video at four years old that's right there is how uh, is uh funny to me but i do feel like it's multiple actors playing them do i feel like that they made human clones where they got a tube of everybody's DNA. I'm sure there is a copy, copy of everybody. Like this movie, they cloned Tyrone. I, I I believe that's very real. You know, they have, they could, they could be a whole other Dwayne somewhere else. You know, but I do feel like I'm way too, way too unique of a person to be cloned. So that's just my idea of it. We will do a detailed look into it. I will make sure I try my best to put the link of the document in this video so you can look it up yourself and read about it. See what you guys think. I do think it's funny John D. Rockefeller is part of it. I do think that the actors and celebrities of the entertainment industry are playing a hoax on us with fake people, cyborgs, androids, clones, and masks. Let me tell you something. If I was them, why not give do everything? Why not have mass people? Why not have the clones? Why not have actors? Why not have C C I uh, AI, CGI? Why not have cyborgs and androids? You don't know what you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? Shapeshifters. You never know. I'm trying to fool you as much as possible. You keep you paying them taxes. Let me know another video I want me to blog on. Uh, we, we're, I'm off tomorrow, so we will have a lot of time to make these videos and get down to editing some good videos for y'all, man. So I'm going to keep on grinding, keep on working. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I'm out.